a card, and it's going to be a different, um, a different suit. suit yeah. <laughs> Can we put all of our other materials away, please? Thank you. All right, I'm going to pass out these cards, and you're going to get a suit. If you are a club, you're going to get match up with the other person that also has a club card, and you will have the topic of religion and church. If you have a spades, you will have the topic of media. If you have a diamonds, you will have the topic of friends. And if you have hearts, you will have the topic of family. And the and topics, sorry. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> so the topics are referring to the messages of how religion or church affects uh, your, like how religion and church represents values of sexuality and sex. So we're going to focus on like your specific topic will have that affect sexuality. So that's just your value, your so. value of sexuality. So I'll pass out the cards and immediately find your partner or group of three. And once you find your partner, have one person from the group come up and grab one sheet of paper and one pen. Diamonds. Doesn't matter what color. What's up?
everyone have a good list going? Yeah? Okay. Well, we're going to bring it back together now. And we'll start off with... What one do you have? Family. Family. And if you guys just want to... Kelsey and Emma, if you guys just want to read off your list and what you portray from family for sexuality. Um, we have expectations, traditional gender roles, decision-making, and rules. What do you mean by decision-making? Like, they expect you to make decisions. Yeah. yeah. Quite pretty much just it's really hard to understand what it feels like. Tim, can you just join this group, please? Yes. Like, I feel like family kind of falls along the same line. Okay, that's a good point that Emma brought up. She brought up religion, if everyone's in here. And we're actually going to address that at the end, because that's the one group that we didn't get to. But we'll have a chance to speak about that. And now, Emma and Kelsey, did you have any like similarities and differences within both your values based on family? Would you say you had like similar, different? No, we had similar. Similar family values? Based on what Emma and Kelsey said, did anyone have similarities and or uh, differences? With their values, was anyone's family different? Or was it kind of all the same? Yeah. Why was it different between you guys? No, it wasn't. It wasn't different? It was the same. No. What, what kind of similarities did you have? Um, like the expectations my parents had about us. And the rules. What are the like, expectations? Well, I'm more specifically described. It was just like an understood expectation. To meet their expectations? <laughs> Does everyone think there could be different families with different expectations? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. What kind of, does anyone personally, you don't have to share, but like, or personal family where you would think the uh, value is different? Are different? Yeah? Um, my, my brother's friends and him got caught drinking on Halloween, and he was the only one out of his friends that got grounded. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point, but we're focusing on sexuality, but yeah, that's also another situation where... <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's different family values. If, if uh, the other friends, yeah, it's fine. If the other friends didn't get grounded, S same thing with sexuality. If one family thinks this and the child acts a certain way, it's different. So, all right. Do you think your family would accept you if you like whatever kind of area you chose? Like with your decisions, do you think that they will um, be able to support you with any decisions you have about sexuality? <coughs> Do you guys think we 
find like, certain sources portray the portray the value of sexuality more than others? Would you say it's like more in the magazines, more on the internet, or is it kind of equal? I think the internet's pretty evenly split because it's so large. There's definitely a lot of sites out there that kind of promote, you know, non-stereotypical gender roles, and like they don't like masculinize men. They don't say all men have to be the traditional man. Whereas like television, I feel kind of really forces on the, those stereotypes of like what a woman would be like the damsel in distress and the man like, the big macho guy. That's right. positive side, they can give you support. Um, you can have discussions about personal experiences. The whole conversation around, like, quote-unquote, who you like can be really influenced by your friends, either in a good or bad way. And we said that having a good group of friends is beneficial because you can learn from their experiences and mistakes. Okay. Dina brought up a lot of great points. Uh, you said something about personal experiences with friends. Now, what do you guys think? Do you think sharing your personal experience with friends would benefit with your values of sexuality, or would it not benefit? It depends. It depends on how supportive they are. If you share your personal stories and they laugh at you, that would be really detrimental. It would just kind of make you lose self-confidence, but if they're really supportive and they're really like, interested and they encourage you to keep um, doing what you want to do, Yeah, that's right. And what if what if your friends are giving you advice in that situation? Do you think their advice would always be right? You think they would be telling you like myths versus facts? Sometimes we get the wrong information from our peers, so that can affect our values of sexuality also. Alex? I also feel like um, a lot of people feel like if you like, don't want to follow like, norms or kind of something like that, so like, yo, everyone has to you know, have the same views, and if you don't have the same like conflicting views, like you're automatically Especially if, like, if, let's say me and Andy have the same views and someone were to like, you know, open up and tell us something else, like we might gang up on them because we see that they're views. Now this, yeah, like what Alex just said in this group, did you did you guys find similarities amongst your group? Did you agree on a lot of the same things with friends? Mostly, yeah, almost yeah. all of it. Now what about the rest of the class after hearing their responses? Dina, not to put you on the spot, even I just did, but 